visit. Let's tie up. Let's go see if we can go visit them. Is there an event going on? Huh? It's a tour? So can we so we can get a take a tour? Sorry? On both? Oh my god, we're gonna see the bridge in Barda. I'm Apple. And I'm Rob. Join us as we seek out new adventures and escape the 9 to 5 grind. We travel by land, sea, and air, searching for fun adventures, best kept secrets, culinary delights, and tasty craft beers. New episodes weekly. Thanks for remembering to subscribe. I'll figure it's water. It moves. Okay, we're good. Oh, you found a way to get up? Yeah, yeah, we just tied up everything you got there. Okay. Oh my God. We just came back from the Bahamas. Um, Helping the people out of there. Yeah, the yeah, so we're on Operation Good Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, which is yeah. here. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we just came back from providing 60,000 pounds of uh, relief. We were with um, Global Empowerment Mission. They brought a lot of stuff when we were in Miami first, and we loaded that on, and then we also um, teamed up with Global Medic out of Canada, and uh, we're transferring stuff from like Nassau to Freeport, and then also from Freeport to the Outer Keys with like food kits, water filtration units, and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah. How bad was it over there? It's pretty bad. Oh, yeah. You can take a look around at this stuff first, but I'll just give you a quick tour then. And yeah, then absolutely. Look at all this stuff. Um, this is an old decommissioned Coast Guard cutter. Um, so it was actually built to um, patrol around islands in Keys and stuff. It was built in 1991. Um, there's actually, you can't really see it, but there's like, a, where she's standing, there's a big circle. There used to be a big gun mounted there. Okay. Um, 110 feet long, uh, 21 foot beam, and 8 foot draft. Uh -huh. Yeah. You see these right here? There's two mounts. There's one here and one on the other side, and those used to have big machine guns as well. <laughs> sea Shepherd bought this boat in 2015, and we named it the John Paul DeJoria. Um, he is one of our biggest donors. Sea Shepherd operates solely on donations, um, so he's a big donor. He actually is the owner of like Paul Mitchell Hair Salons, and he also owns Patron. So this ship was actually christened with a bottle of Patron. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Water cannons. So you guys blast them. We we've only bought this boat in 2015, and it's only been involved in Operation Good Pirates of the Caribbean, and also it was involved in a shark finning campaign and then also Milagro so it mainly stays around it's a it's a, it's a United States boat so we have two different chapters of um, Sea Shepherd so there's Sea Shepherd Global which is out of Australia and Sea Shepherd Conservation Society which is out of the United States but together we have 11 ships um, it's not a job we're all volunteers yeah and how long three months Three months would be like a, a contract or, or a minimum. Yeah, is what they uh, want for your like commitment. And what would that entail? Just because we really are kind of curious. <laughs> it depends right. on what you sign up for. Like you could be a chef, you could be um, a deckhand. Um, I'm the bosun on board. I started as a deckhand, but I uh, have a lot of experience on boats as well. Uh -huh. So I'm just in charge of like the deck crew. Um, if you have more experience like in driving vessels, you have any tickets and stuff, you could be like a first mate, stuff like that. It depends on the on ah. what you what you skills you have. And stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. That would be great experience. I applied and I waited like a year to get on, so I mean wow. it just depends, you know, oh, on what's going on as well. For your position. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you could be like I was contacted two weeks before they wanted me here. So like oh. it's pretty like I, I I've had a weird like I've been traveling a lot and haven't been more since like a year so a lot of us are just kind of like you know travelers and yeah, yeah. wanderers <laughs> right it's for the oceans you know a lot of people like us are like you know we're ocean people so i was on a sailboat for the past four months as well like yeah yeah really yeah, yeah you're not spending any money unless you go out for bevies yeah. for drinks after. right uh, yeah. yeah that's pretty cool baby we should do that i'm a chef so i mean <laughs> are you vegan 
Uh, I am very familiar with vegetarian. I can't vegan because I freaking love cheese. I'm sorry. Well, all of our ships are 100% vegan. Are they? So you don't eat seafood? that you can call like a, to the other like a, there's mess there's like the pilot house there's the engine rooms stuff like that so back in the day when they had radios even though this boat's only built in 1991. Wow. Um, so yeah this is the wheelhouse uh captain's chair steering again even though we don't really use this we just you know how it goes. Yeah, set your course and go. That's it yeah, yeah. all the navigation stuff you've got your um, radar right there. Yeah, we usually do try to do transits overnight. Um, four hour watches, pretty standard. So this is the communications room. You can see this is where like the server is, um, all the internet. Mm -hmm. Communications devices, pretty small area. Ooh, look at this. Yeah, so all kinds of network equipment. Huh? Hang out in here and they'll make um, cool videos and stuff like uh, that. Yeah. Anyway, this is the captain's quarters, the biggest uh, cabin on the ship, <laughs> pretty small, the um, and it's like attached that. with a head to the chief engineer's cabin, and it's exactly the same. Uh, so this is the communications room, you can see this is where like the server is, um, all the internet, mm -hmm. communications devices, pretty small area. Ooh. Look at this. Yeah, all so kinds of network equipment. Huh? Hang out in here and they'll make um, cool videos and stuff like uh, that. Yeah. Like the, that. Anyway, this is the captain's quarters. The biggest uh, cabin on the ship. <laughs> Pretty small. Got the um, and it's attached with a head to the chief engineer's cabin and it's exactly the same. On that main level again, uh, where the deck was, so we can come down here. The galley, it's pretty small in there. Pop your head in there. Say hey to Becky. Becky's going to take care. She's our chef. What's up? Uh, I'm a chef too. No. Uh, I'm a cook, but a chef. Hi. Washer in here as well. It doesn't yeah. lock, but yeah. <laughs> nice. Lots of fruit, veggies, and stuff, yeah. I guess, huh? Really easy. easy if, it, right? if it's something you're passionate about, which I am. Oh, okay. um, but how was your diet before the transition? Like a normal American. I yeah. mean, steak, uh, burgers, bacon, yeah. cheese. I think it's really easy. Once you research it and look at the information, yeah. it's, you would never yeah. want to eat meat again. Right, and you know that's what you want, cause especially yeah. I mean, because it's your health. I think, well, not necessarily my health, but yeah. it's animal cruelty. It's yeah. the way that we do it in the United States. It's absolutely disgusting. Yeah. Uh, it's not sustainable. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's just, it's, it's not good. Um, yeah. Throughout most of the world. I mean, yeah. what happened in the rainforest, I mean, that was because we wanted to, 
you know, put down all this so we could do um, some soybeans so we can feed it to cattle. Like that's yeah, basically what it is. Because we're gluttonous. Yeah, you know, yeah. horrible. Yeah. Yeah. So it's something. They got sriracha though, so we're good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. yeah. Um, so but behind those doors is actually where the engine room is. I uh, can't take you there because all of the um, U.S. military fields actually have the same engine, so yeah. they can take um, engineers from different ones and they uh, can. Yeah. Work what's on it got for power? Ones. Uh, it's two diesel engines, Caterpillar engines. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, here's the mess deck, so this is where we hang out, um, watch movies. Uh, there's a picture of our founder, Paul Watson, on the right, and then the guy on the left is John Paul DeJoria, who this boat was named after. So what's the crew, like how, uh, how many, how big is the crew, pretty much? <laughs> uh, when we had the most, we were at seven. Seven? Seventeen. Oh, seventeen. Yeah, we, this boat can hold eighteen. Yeah. Um, this is the dry stores. Um, when it was a Coast Guard cutter, it used to be the ammunition locker. Oh. And uh, so it would have been explosive proof back then. Okay. Now it doesn't have a door. Uh, this is the CPO um, cabin. So there's two bunks in there. That one's the second biggest room. Ah. Uh -huh. That's awesome. Yeah. Pretty spacious. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Uh, this is one of the heads, so you can see where it says ammunition far side. <laughs> and then it used to be other. This is awesome. Well, I mean, it's like a real fucking. Yeah, there's a, uh, a, a shower, shower on the other side. Yeah. yeah, just watch your step when you come through here. Or cabin. So this one, you can fit six people in here. Wow. It's pretty small compared to the other ones. Um, and, like, you know, not much space. I spent, I slept here for two and a half months. Yeah. Yeah. Where then, are you now? Uh, well, right now I'm in the captain's cabin because uh, uh -huh. I'm the most senior person on the boat right now until uh, our uh, captain gets here. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'll just be there for a bit. Um, yeah. <laughs> Enjoy it, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then there's also a head up here. So we're at the very bow of the boat, so it's pretty rough up here. Imagine using this while we're in transit. Hey, yeah. there's a shower right there as well. <laughs> Don't get sick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a tiny little, <laughs> tiny little shower. Wow. Yeah. Go check that out. Yep. Okay. Oh. Yeah. That is tiny. <laughs> yeah. And what is this? Just open up to the deck? Yeah, it just goes up to the bow where the, the tent is. So that's it. Um, it's nearing the end of uh, tour time. So I would say uh, if you guys are interested in watching some of our videos, just go on um, our Facebook page and yeah. be John Paul DeJoria. Um, we also have a wish list online. Um, I saw it, yeah. Yeah, and it has the stuff that we want specifically on this boat. Like I need a power drill, I need like tape, um, stuff like that, okay. specifically for this boat um, since we are all donation run. Um, and okay. then also any of the merchandise upstairs that goes towards us as well. Also, go check out our other boat. Um, if you go now, you yeah, we go definitely now. want to. Yeah, go to the um, Bridge of Bardell. Go check out some merch and then go over to uh, the Bridge of Bardell. What was your name? Chantel. Chantel. Nice to meet you. Nice Apple to meet you. Rob. Nice to meet you. Thanks for the All right, thank you very much.